everyone and his brother has a video about chat gpt or the ai chat bot in the internet or there are blogs so many blogs available and i'm pretty sure you would have heard about that as well and if you have used um the ai chat bot chat gpt um yeah it's it's really really impressive how it can come back with uh, natural responses and give us some very good answers for a lot of questions but at the same time there is a um, chatbot ai chatbot war out there now google has also come with bard and baidu has i think ernie and bing has some integrations with chat gpt and i don't know what else is coming up so with all these the things are getting really heated up and there is a very big questions what is going to happen to the developers or software programmers um, with all these things coming in and giving us solutions if we ask uh, um, you know for a software solution these chat ai chat bots are able to give you some good answers and most of the cases it works but my take on this is that it's not yet time um to 100% to blindly believe these um ai chat bot um yet because a uh, lot of these are uh, modeled or or trained um over the data that is available in the internet and um we should know that the information in internet can be really really incorrect at some point of times right there are so much fake news and a lot of content is created by people who hasn't uh, who haven't uh, looked at these sources for correctness so we don't know if the if the data that these systems are trained on are itself clean and correct so you should not really completely blindly believe what these systems are telling you rather than that you should still use your discretion you should use your own research to come up with uh, your own answers and um, purely for uh, small programming questions or uh, or that type of questions i would still rely on uh, stack overflow um hoping that uh, there are no bots writing answers in uh, stack overflow uh, right now so stack overflow i i think is still a better source for um uh, some kind of a developer related questions or programming related questions i would suggest go use that than uh, chat gpt so uh, just to have some fun let's take a look uh, what chat gpt can do for us and where it can go wrong so here's my experiment uh, with um, chat gpt i'm going to open a new tab on chrome and open um, chat gpt here so let's see let's ask a question i'm going to ask chat gpt write me a spring application that takes care of lost updates so i'm just putting a generic question here um, see it's very quick in responding with a very good solution here let's take a look at um uh, update protection for a simple counter see it's generating all this code for me and it's creating a data source oh my god okay all this unnecessary code it's uh, creating uh, right and then it's a uh, isolation uh, propagation update counter select update all right increment with version all right so here it's generating a code uh, that assumes that there is a, um, a you know that there is a versioning on the record and uh, it's probably uh, checking the version of the record before sending an update and stuff like that so that's one way to look at uh, this problem um jdbc template to interact with database all right it actually gives a very nice explanation of uh, the code it has generated so it's definitely very very useful as a as a helper so but let's quickly look at what this is doing so let's see here it's saying increment counter there is a okay requires new select update that's it and here increment with version uh, all right uh then i'm going to just try to confuse um chat gpt and just say some things okay because i don't completely trust the solution so i'm going to say mm hmm this does not look correct why are we not using select for update and also let's just put some question about this uh, increment with with version uh or skip version select 
if current version expected version okay the versioning piece uh, looks correct so i'm not gonna uh, i'm i'm just going to say i am not interested in the version approach you're correct so see it's giving you some alternate now so this clearly indicates that never really trust the answer that chat gpt is giving you to be fully correct or the best alternative uh, available out there out there right this definitely will help you but at the same time it's up to you to do the basic research and identify what sort of solution will fit your needs and um you know what we work correctly now if you see this um this example that it's generating right it's just a copy of the previous one but it has changed the query to um uh, for update here um as uh, to, to create a pessimistic lock on the database so it's just as um, it, so it's it, unlike a human being i don't see a conviction of knowledge here from um uh, AI, but I think that's correct because it's not sure whatever it has learned is correct or not. So that's what I might take about uh, ChatGPT. So please don't uh, copy paste solutions from ChatGPT into your production code. Is what I <laughs> what I would ultimately want to say. So let's jump back here now. What else is coming up? Yeah, there is ChatGPT GPT four coming up, which says that it's uh, far better in reasoning and stuff like that. Um, it's already out, but I haven't uh, got a chance to try it out. So let's see how everything um, comes out at the end of this uh, AI chatbot war and what sort of jobs um, it's going to make it obsolete. So I would like you just go ahead and put some comments in the comment section to see, um, um, you know, what, what do you think will quickly become obsolete as a job or something uh, given these, um, uh, these AI-based chat bots are becoming commonplace all right anyway have a good time uh, enjoy your week uh, and um, we'll meet again bye